You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. The chairman of the Cambodian Human Rights Committee and the Cambodian representative to the ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights, Guy Remy, said that the first day of the Archer workshop focused on evaluating the overall plan and the implementation of the Archer program based on the old mandate from 2019 to 2021. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the details. The ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission of Human Rights has organised a workshop to evaluate the overview of the plan of the old mandate from 2019 to 2021 and to prepare the implementation of the new 2022 to 2024 mandate. The AICHR representative for 2022 to 2024 is the chairman of the Cambodian Human Rights Committee, Kiao Rami. Speaking during the open ceremony of the first day of the AICHR workshop on Tuesday, 29th of March, the CHRC Chairman Kiao Rami stated that the workshop aims to facilitate and transition of the work between what has been completed and what will be done, and to ensure that the AICHR community of institutions strengthens its relationships with stakeholders. AICHR was established on the 23rd of October 2009 and the 15th ASEAN Summit in Thailand. The establishment of AICHR de demonstrates ASEAN commitment to pursuing and forward-looking strategy to strengthen regional cooperation on human rights. It is an integral part of the ASEAN organisation structure and a joint governing body with overall responsibility for the promotion and protection of human rights in the ASEAN region. After Tuesday morning workshop, AICHR assistant to Cambodia and a member of the CHRC, Sreng Chenda, said that his workshop discussions also focus on the AICHR's standard documents, which former representatives also sharing other documents. These human rights documents in question include an ASEAN Charter, the Asian Declaration of Human Rights and the terms of the AICHR. Since its interception in 2009, AICHR has had 14 functions set out in its terms of reference. AICHR has been implementing an organisation, a number of programmes and activities for promote and protect human rights in ASEAN countries. In recent years, seeing the facilitation of optimization of work, ACHR has decided to hold four meetings, including two plenary sessions and two special meetings. Over the last three years, AICHR has organized its programs and activities on a wide range of topics related to human rights, including businesses and human rights, environment and human rights, the right to education, gender equality, the rights of persons with disabilities, freedom of religion and beliefs, children's rights and the right to health. In addition, AICHR continues to engage with relevant institutions in the ASEAN and other stakeholders to ensure the constitution and promotion of human rights in ASEAN countries and the mainstreaming of human rights. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.